Good morning, everyone. I feel like I haven't seen you, sat down with you like this. I mean, seen you, I'm talking to a camera, but you know what I mean? I haven't been with you guys for the longest time. That's what it feels like. And I feel like I've got loads of stuff to catch you up on. I've got a little present here from Rome as well that I want to just share with you, something off of my wish list. My soul is well and truly in Italy. Can't wait to go back. I'm starting to think about my next trip. Don't tell hubby that because I think he's a bit traumatised. <laughs> Obviously, it's really busy in the city, isn't it? And uh, we're both not used to it, like the busyness. But it's worth it for all of the sights and things like that. And oh, it was just amazing. What an amazing trip. I got poorly when I got back. So like I said, I was meant to do a vlog a lot sooner after Rome. <laughs> like my sparkle had just diminished. Wasn't feeling it. And... I think you can see right through me in those videos. I don't feel like filming when I feel like that, but I still show up sometimes because I think, well, I don't like to let you guys down one. And yeah, I also think it's really important to show you guys that I have those days. Otherwise, you'd just see me showing up like, woo, -hoo, all the time. And that's just not real life, is it? I also don't like not showing up when I'm meant to. Punctuality for me is massive. It always has been, timekeeping and doing what you've said you're going to do. There's something inside of me that cannot stand when I've said something and I haven't followed through and the same with other people. I, I just, I don't like it. <laughs> so if I don't show up where I'm meant to, for videos, I mean, then there's something not quite right somewhere. And yeah, just know that it is killing me inside not showing up or being where I'm supposed to be at whatever time I've said I'm going to be there at. <laughs> Guys, I know this is not everybody's cup of tea, anything like this. I'm literally just going to quickly show you what I got, but if it's not your thing, then just click, tap the screen and I think it's that side, tap the screen and it will fast forward um, past this bit if you're not interested, obviously. But for those of you that are interested, so I've wanted this for the longest time it's been on my wish list and it is the Louis Vuitton Nice BB which is obviously a vanity case isn't she just beautiful so this wasn't a planned purchase but this has been on my wish list for so long so I always knew I wanted it I have wanted it for the longest time it's obviously a classic it's part of the luggage collection and this is one of the reasons why Louis Vuitton is my oh it's my love I know that in today's world it's quite logo heavy and I don't support a lot of logos either garish screamy logos I don't like them however this one it just feels different for me because it's iconic and I just love the colours. So this is the Nice BB and this is the biggest version in the Vanity collection but it is part of the luggage collection. So this is the biggest size they do. They also do two smaller versions I think. One of them's called Nano size and obviously you can't fit much in that. And as you all know, I love my makeup and my skincare. Like it's part of my everyday routine, which is why I've always wanted this piece in particular. It fits quite a lot in, but we're going to do a separate video uh, because I have got a few things coming that I want to set up this case with. But yeah, I've ordered an organiser, which hasn't come just yet, but that will fit inside and it'll just help everything keep everything secure not only that it will protect the leather inside it's actually got wipeable leather inside as well so because obviously it is a vanity case so it is wipeable but still you do want to preserve it and look after it as best as possible it's got a zip concealed pocket at the top there which you can fit quite a lot in and I believe that this leather can stretch as well over time. I don't want to stretch it but obviously um, it does stretch. It's got the care card in the top there but I don't know what I'm going to put in the top yet. It's got another little back pocket here and obviously it says Louis Vuitton made in Italy. Got the double zip. It's got a top handle here which says Louis Vuitton Paris and this top handle is Vachetta leather. It's also got this Vachetta leather trim around the top and the bottom here. I don't plan to sell this. I plan to keep it in my collection forever. They call them twillies, don't they? Bandanas, scarves. 
Well, I've ordered one from Amazon. It was literally about five pounds and that's on its way as well. It's not here yet. So we'll set all this vanity up together and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. And I do plan to wrap the twilly around the top handle here. And then the two sides hang over these bits here. I think it looks really, really cute like that. Not only that, it protects that Vachetta leather. A lot of people just use the Nice BB to travel with. I plan on using mine every day. I plan to keep it in the bathroom and use it every day because it doesn't she look gorgeous sat on the side like that. So yeah, here she is in all of her glory. Really happy about it. <laughs> really need a haircut we're gonna have to book one today because it's getting really like I don't know I just need one I've got this Hollister light blue shirt on I've tied it up here at the waist because it gives me a lot of shape and not only that it gives me all the spring vibes I am so ready for spring now rusty colored wide leg high-waisted joggers on just all the comfy vibes today welcome to the chair everybody where you've wore a piece of clothing it's not quite clean enough to go back into your closet so it ends up on the chair if you haven't by any chance smelt this fragrance you need to next time you're in selfridges or you pass a john malone store etc etc make sure you have a good sniff of this if you haven't already but warning you are going to want to add it to your collection as well this now reminds me of italy because i took it to italy with me and wore it throughout the trip so it reminds me of the italy trip it's just special this one now to me not only is it gorgeous so yeah it's up here on my fireplace in the bedroom because I just can't wait to get a dressing room sorted, to be honest with you, so that I can have all of this stuff put away. This is what I keep telling my husband. It's like if I had a dressing room to put stuff away, then things wouldn't end up on the chair, you know? Never go down empty-handed. All this needs to come down the stairs as well, so we're just going to scoot past it for now, ignore it. No, we go way, way back, as far as way back goes. that is down here in the snug. I think I should show you upstairs first. So let's go upstairs and I'll give you a little renovation update, talk you through some plans. I literally cannot wait to get the carpet up here. How nice is it going to be? And I'm already planning what to do on this wall as well. So, but not yet, not yet. Let's go in the first room actually. Okay, so this room in particular is the smallest room, like I said, in the house. And this is, we think, it's going to be our office, temporary office. So we're basically just going to have the room plastered, fresh walls, freshly painted white, and then we will set up the room. Nothing built in just yet. We're going to just set up the room with a desk in here somehow. I'm sure I can make it look really stunning. We're gonna carpet all these bedrooms upstairs as well. So a lovely carpet, fresh walls. Obviously we're gonna have a new ceiling as well, new light fittings. And yeah, this is gonna be my temporary office space. So I did in fact mention this previously, but this room I intend, if we stay here, I do intend on having some sort of staircase running up there into the loft space eventually and that'll come last. Other than that, we'll move out and not convert the loft and leave that to somebody else to do if they want to because there's a whole space up there and oh my gosh, I think I've shown it before but it would make the most glorious closet up there and especially with this underneath being like an office room because I'm always in the office in the dressing room so it would just be an absolutely amazing space for me if we stay here that is. Okay, let's go out of this room. I'm going to shut this door as well because, you know, dust and all of that. And I'll explain as well why things are taking so long. 
Moving on to the second bedroom. So we've got Ash making notes there on the wall. <laughs> He's already chiseled out some of the wall there for new electrics. Obviously, we're going to rewire these rooms upstairs. We haven't got round to that yet. And this carpet is so old, but it was the newest in the house. And when we first moved in, you might remember this room because this is the room we chose to live in for the first few months until our bedroom had got done. It's got a fireplace down there. We're actually going to get rid of the fireplace. It's already blocked up. And as you can see, it's a really weird shape, this room. Like the fireplace is right down there in the corner and then like the wall goes straight along and then it goes like up like that into a bit of a triangle in that corner, which is really weird. And I think they've done it to make way for the fireplace. Anyway, we're going to straighten all that up so that it's a nice square room because if you do any buildings, well, yeah, I suppose you could hide it behind a built-in. But if you do anything, like I just, I just think it's better off being a square all this paper on the walls and the ceiling needs to come off as you can see it's all coming off here let me just see if i can come around this side oh i've literally just found joelle's chocolate bar half eaten so i'm gonna have to put that in the bin aren't i anyway this is the room from this side and as you can see up here we have paper coming off the walls now the reason why we're taking so long this new year to get going with the renovations is because we noticed after all that bad weather we had a bit of a leak coming through this ceiling so we've been waiting on a roofer to come and just make sure that everything is hunky-dory with the roof before we get it plastered because obviously we don't want to pay for a plasterer to come in pay for all that work to be done and then leaks to come through after that so we've been waiting on the roofer and obviously because of all the bad weather he's like fully booked up so it's just tradesmen you guys i told you i don't sit well with tradesmen we're still waiting on them so until he's done the roof we can't have the plasterers come in and then when he has actually done the roof we're gonna have to wait and see if we can get the plasterers in and i'm hoping not but um you know what they're like tradesmen waiting around for them i mean at the end of the day you can't just snap your fingers and them come round i understand that they're booked up elsewhere as well and good but um yeah it takes ages doesn't it just getting things done especially when you're not doing it yourself and you have to rely on other people i hate it i really hate it so yeah the roof needs repairing the plasterers then need to come in and we still need to strip this wallpaper in the meantime but like i said there's no rush ash then needs to finish off the i think he's done it hasn't he look He's put sockets in, because I don't think that were there before. This socket here, that was. But I think we're going to get rid of that. That why, why is that there? Anyway, we need to have a little word about that, I think, because, yeah, socket placements for me, a massive deal. Still got the old curtains. We've still got the old curtains up here as well. <laughs> like, these are so dusty, honestly. It's really, really bad and dusty in this room. And yeah, blank canvas in here. So yeah, blank canvas in here. I think I'm going to get rid of this bed and sell this bed because it's too giant for this room. Like that's a super king. Is it super king? Yeah, that bed is a super king. Crushed velvet, silver, still haunting me and ruining my life. That's literally years and years old. And... I need rid of it to be honest with you but yeah this room will be set up as a guest room i say joelle's room but it'll just look like a guest room she's hardly ever home and the the amount of time she stays at home is just i can't set it up as personally her room obviously she'll have her things in here but they'll be nicely stored away and it will just look to anybody else doing viewings like a guest room you know just like a normal bedroom so same thing in here freshly plastered walls brand newly painted and then we're going to carpet the room i'm going to probably find and thrift a double bed a nice wooden frame double bed obviously new light fittings new curtains and all of that good stuff okay let's go out of this room and into the final room let me just put this in my pocket. Oh, and Ash has left some tools out for us. So this has actually seen the most transformation 
um, because in here we just need to build up that stud wall there, strip the walls and then the plaster needs to come in. So there's not much needs actually doing in here and apart from the le electrics. And well, Asha's actually knocked out the cupboards which were built in at the sides here and here at the side of the chimney breast wall and as you can see this section is larger than that little section there so we're going to build up this section so that the chimney breast wall is central to this room we're going to keep the fireplace and restore what we can of that fireplace isn't it lovely Obviously it's been painted and glossed over, so we'll just have to strip it and see what we can do with it. I'm sure we can make it into a lovely feature. We'll probably put some shelves up in here because I think that would be absolutely lovely. And basically this room is going to be done like the rest with a carpet in, fresh walls, but I'm gonna set it up as our, me and Ash's, his and hers dressing room, but it won't be built in like you would think I want my dressing room until we know we're staying here. Then we'll add the buildings and make it a proper dressing room like we did in the last house. But if we sell it, there's no point doing that because someone might want this as a bedroom. So then they'll just be ripping out all of the buildings that we've actually put in for my dressing room, you know? So it's a bit of a waste of money for us. That's what we're thinking. So yeah, this room will just be a nice his and hers dressing room. I'll probably have a seating area in the middle. I might even build one of them DIY islands in this room. So that's exciting. But it's got a focal point. It's got a fireplace. So how nice is that? I'm sure I can make it look absolutely fabulous on a budget. But obviously, you guys can come along with me. And yeah, we're waiting on plaster in here. And we'll be changing out the radiators and obviously these old doors as well so we'll have new doors on there that's actually the wallpaper that was on here and i think yeah we have uncovered some of the older wallpaper as well so underneath that new stuff was this character wow it's like wee willy winky in his nightgown does he not look a little bit evil I don't know. And then on the back of the wall here, there's some writing. It says something, I'm not sure what. I will keep you guys updated on what that says, but yeah, that's the current stitch in here as well. Oh, actually, there's more wallpaper under there as well. So there were like three layers of wallpaper. Can you see that one as well? Anyway, this room has seen the most transformation so far. So yeah, you just smashed out the old, old buildings next to here. And we're just gonna get it ready for plastering. And we're gonna have all of the upstairs rooms plastered all in one, hopefully one fell swoop. So yeah, let's get it out of here, shall we? And then obviously carpets will be last in the rooms. And then we can finally, once all the workmen and all the dust work is kind of finished, we can work on the staircase. But with this being a communal like walkway when there's actually work going on, I mean, we expect to paint, repaint this landing as well. But yeah, finally, in the end, we can get our little stair runner on and we'll have this all transformed. It's going to look lovely, you guys. I can't wait. I plan on putting some artwork along the wall here in the landing and then here in this let me just go up the stairs to my bedroom because I need to show you this but in this big space up here like it's so tall I can't even tell you how tall that is that chandelier that chandelier is massive I mean, I'm not joking Behind that wall is a massive space now to buy a piece of art that's going to fit really nicely on that wall now you can do a gallery wall but there's so many big walls to do gallery walls on that one in particular i'm going to try and have made like a diy we're going to do it ourselves a mirror i'll get ash to build me a frame a bespoke frame that's going to fit in that space and then my plan is to use some of those vintage style mirror squares you know with the they look mottled I'm going to put some of the vintage style mirror squares 
inside the frame and have it look like a massive, big, massive bespoke mirror. And then when you come up the stairs, it's going to reflect back all of this chandelier and landing. And I just think it's going to look spectacular and make this hallway landing even bigger than it already is. Oh, let's not forget the bathroom. So this is the current situation. This is the little bathroom, you guys. You'll have to excuse me. This is a working bathroom. This is the only bathroom we have at the moment. It's got that chocolate brown suite in there. And I mean, it's clean and we just literally stand in there for a shower for two minutes an evening and obviously do our business in the toilet, brush our teeth in the sink. I've got my barber jacket hanging up because that needs washing and I need to do it in the bath and then drip dry it because you know how awkward barber jackets are. We've got temporary um what do you call them shower curtains up because there's no door on this frame it was like a, a cupboard door rather than a an actual door this all needs ripping out but we have to be careful and wait till last minute because obviously we still need a bathroom to use and yeah all the tiles are going to come off and then all this wall is mirrored and cracked and broken and then you can see that it's tiled along the bottom there a little bit if you remember when we first moved in, it also had carpet, pink carpet at the side of the bath as well. We had to rip it out. We just had to rip as much as, of, of it as we could out and let the air get to it. <laughs> and yeah, it's been cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. But I mean, there's only so much cleaning you can do. Um, but this is the current situation we're living in. Also, they lowered the ceiling in here and put these really weird like you know them office ceiling tiles well they've got them up, up in the top here as you can see some sort of like leaf design on them very 70s brown tiles lowered the ceiling so obviously we're going to bring back the height of the ceiling in here as well the ceiling is as high as the others so like 12 foot ceilings and then this room needs replastering. Ash is going to tile it. I do have a design in mind, but we'll save that for another video and I'll run through it with you as a full like bathroom design video. So I'm going to take you back downstairs because all of our stuff that was stored in these upstairs rooms whilst we were doing downstairs is now downstairs. And here is my wardrobe. It's been moved, as you can see, so many times. We've lost the back panel, so my clothes are on exposed which i am really nervous about <laughs> because obviously we're in um, a renovation zone ash has had to like screw in some planks of wood just to keep it up right just somewhere to put our stuff ash is even worse because he's got this rail that's actually bending you can see the bend look at that it's like literally bending. Oh, hi, Ralphie. I didn't know you was there. You are in this room amongst all this stuff and you look like E.T. E.T. phone home. Don't you? <laughs> but yeah, this is what we're dealing with. We've got Ash's armchair here because he sits here. If an evening, he likes to sit here watching out of the window and all the spring vibes i can't wait you guys someone said can we see your garden at one point um yeah that's the garden there's a bit of a patio area just outside the bay window here this walkway goes all the way around the side of the house and we have a sort of courtyard at the other side it's just a very weird layout this house like i said this is the front of the house and they were built to face over the woods and the woodland so this is actually the front of the house and down there is the woods but to say you've got all that woodland at the back of there and it's just incredible down there you guys that is literally our garden isn't it like the woods so i don't mind that we have a little area up here and then like this is the current situation like i said we've got that old sofa giving me nightmares still haunting me but i don't mind because i'd rather that old one get used in this renovation like this amongst all the dust than you know have a new one and get it ruined and yeah the fireplace has been done in here as you all know but that's about it and we've just literally dumped all of our stuff oh, we've got joelle's boxing gloves down there and lps and freaking 
record players. We've still got boxes we haven't unpacked. Let me see if I can just give you a little scan of what's down there. And basically, this is all giving me anxiety. So I would like to try and minimize this mess and go through these boxes and just try and create some space and get rid of some stuff, maybe. I'm hoping anyway. Isn't he cute? He's put a little tiny rug out for this little for this little seating area by the window, tucked out of the way. The TV is here and look, look at that dust. You guys, oh my God, it's awful. A washing basket down here, an office chair. We've got Christmas decks all over the place as well. So we just need a really good sort out, don't we? And yeah, that's the current situation at the moment in here hi a little different than all the rest a quite old fashioned where i had sometimes played chess and when i'm out i'm looking for that vintage flame the most unflattering angle ever like you're literally looking at my double chin <laughs> Need to do something about that doorway <laughs> but i just wanted to show you this little piece lily well it's not little it's actually huge and i'm off to my best friends this morning we are gonna have a really good catch up i've not seen her since <gasps> i think it was like december last year so i've not seen her this year at all she got engaged on christmas day and as you can see, I am running late as per usual and I'm sure you guys can relate not seeing your best friend for like weeks and months on end because, you know, life happens and just gets in the way. I'm sorry about the quality as well today. It's the greyest, rainiest day ever. Oops, we've still got a roller in the hair. Ow, ow, ow. Really? Why do I look like Elvis Presley? And we can build our dreams on suspicious man. I love Elvis Presley. Okay, hi. Hi. <laughs> right, I think it's obvious that I need a haircut now. I need to cut these bangs as well. What is that? What is that? We'll just have to do. Let's get going, shall we? But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of To someday find that vintage love I kept on looking But everyone's such a bore you guys and do a shop with me there's so much more in store from when we was last here oh it's taking everything not to stay here and look so they've got a really nice four plants section in this shop and i just love it so i'm looking for some hanging ones these are only 3.99 usually they're quite expensive um but i think it might be too heavy for the shelf hanging on off of the window so I don't know if to just leave it for now, but they've got some wonderful bits in. Look at these rose bushes, so nice. So this is actually what we're here for. Can you see them? These little rope style round shelves and they are $19.99. So yeah, I saw this in store one time and I thought it'd be perfect for that space in the cloakroom in that round window area. I need to come into the cafe one time. I've actually never sat down in the cafe in Home Bargains. We've got blue skies, you guys. <laughs> so 
so we've landed at TK Maxx next stop and it's just a flying visit you guys I'm looking for two things in particular I'm looking for a notebook I need a new notebook and some soaps so these are the soaps and I just love them in Home Sense and TK Maxx. They do some really nice ones, don't they? Well, I'm looking for some mini ones. These all look really big, like big bars, which I love, but um, specifically for the cloakroom, I need small ones, really pretty small soaps. So if you've got any recommendations where to look, because I don't know to look here, because I do like my soap. I do like a nice hand soap. These look really nice. They're too big for the space I'm looking for. But I'm thinking of the upstairs bathroom eventually. Like, I love a bar of soap. We go through soap like I don't know what. Thought I'd just see what kind of sunglasses they've got in stock as well. So this is what I'm here for. I need a new notebook desperately. And this is actually where I get my notebooks from and my diaries. I just think they're so nice, aren't they? How much is this one? $4.99. They just do some really good ones in Home Sense and TK Maxx. And yeah, so I always get my notebooks from here. Like they're super affordable as well. That's the best one I'm seeing at the moment. Oh, look, you guys. It's got a leather scalloped edge and it's a linen cover. Is it magnetic? It almost folds over. It's only six pounds. I'm literally trying to resist, but I'll just have a little brief scan over, okay? Anyway, I've got a mirror. I chose a mirror. It's now up in the cloakroom because you haven't seen the wallpaper in there. You haven't seen the mirror and also the light the light has been chosen and put up it actually went up last night that's why i wanted to go out and get this today i don't know how we're going to get this fixed into that window because obviously we can't attach it to it somehow because it's glass isn't it we've just painted over it hi i'm here to outro this video <sighs> i hope you enjoyed it i wanted to show you what i picked up from tk maxx so yeah, I picked that up. I couldn't resist it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? For $5.99. It's a linen cover, really like textured as well, which I love. And then it's got this scalloped edge, which is in leather. I think that's beautiful, isn't it? Desperately needed a new notebook and it's just a lined notebook. So it's hard back as well, uh, which I don't mind because I always go for this kind of size because they tend to fit in my handbags, especially my new Celine tote bag which carries everything in if i need it you know it's just ready to go <gasps> why does it always frighten the life out of me that dryer it goes off for ages and then you're in here and it's just it just starts up again anyway yeah so i got a new notebook which i'm really pleased about from home bargains i picked up a little gift bag i couldn't resist it because it had these little daisies on it and I thought it were really, really cute for 59p. And then we get to TK Maxx and they just do things on another level, don't they? I saw loads of gift bags and stuff that were just far nicer than this. So I might even take that back for 59p. <laughs> Shall I take it back for 59p? Listen, I'm on a no spending man. This is how savvy I am and penny pinching I am. But it's because I'm like this that affords me the other luxuries, you know? I don't know if you could tell today, but I've been crying this morning because something happened this morning at my best friend's house, but you'll have to stay tuned until the next video and then I can show you what happened. I might even do, you know, if you don't mind, vlogs for the next couple of weeks because otherwise it feels manic. I call these kind of vlogs, like this one in particular, let me know if you enjoyed it, but I call them manic vlogs, you know, where it's just like, and some people like that sort of content, don't they? Like switching completely to different things all the time. It doesn't feel peaceful and calm to me when it's like that, but there's so much going on that um, I've had no choice. So yeah, shall we just do vlogs for the next few videos and see how we feel? I still haven't uh, booked in my haircut today. I might ring and do that this afternoon, you know? Yeah, I might do that this afternoon. So hopefully we'll do that in the next video. I've also got a really exciting delivery arriving today. So it's making me anxious. You know, when you've got something really good coming, I'm just, I don't know why I'm like that. I'll show you in the next video, like literally how annoying. But yeah, I'm going to get this video edited up and stop jibber jabbering. <laughs>
<laughs> and let you guys go. But always, always leave me a comment down below. I think we will do a cloakroom reveal in the next renovation vlog. So that's exciting. I can't wait to go through all the details with you in there. It's looking... If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably already get the gist of how it's looking. <laughs> I will see you, hopefully, for a little bit more of a chilled out, well-organised, calm video. Because I don't like being manic like this. It feels manic to me. Anyway, I'm going. Okay, I really am this time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.